This tutorial explains how to assign elements a material property in Lisa. Elements must have a material, in order for them to have properties, whether it be mechanical, thermal, electrical or fluid. Material properties may be defined either before, or after elements are created. Elements created by the auto mesher are never associated with any material. You will have to right click on the mesh geometry to either assign it a new material. or, assign it an already defined material property. If you are creating a mesh without using the auto mesher, and have already defined a material property, any newly created elements will be assigned that material by default. To change it to another material, right click the component, then select assign new material. Materials in Lisa give elements both, a physical property like Young's modulus or density, and a geometrical shape, such as a plate thickness, or, an I-beam cross-section. This implies that if two elements have the same Young's modulus, but different geometries, they must not share the same material. You can create mixed material models in Lisa. In order to do so, the elements with the different materials, must first be separated into components. This can be done by selecting the elements with the same material, then right-clicking, Components and Materials, then selecting, New Component. Now, right-click on the new component to assign it its own material properties. Lisa does not provide a materials database. If you find yourself using the same materials repeatedly, create an empty Lisa file with only the materials defined in it. Then use that as a starting file for all future models. And right click on any created components, to assign it one of those saved materials. This ends the tutorial on using materials in Lisa. Accompanying tutorials will explain how to apply, orthotropic, anisotropic and composite materials to elements.